Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Single and Loving It or Not. I'm Sophia Monet, and this is Kaslyn oh. Giles in the midst of a laughter attack. <laughs> uh, we're Monet and Giles together, you know. Love detectives. <laughs> and these are our Don't guests of the week. Up. You guys can introduce yourselves. I'm Elise Lindsay. And I'm Phil Schwartz. <laughs> we don't <laughs> introduce people on this show. <laughs> we don't have that much money. Anyway, so anyway, we're going so to ask you guys before. questions about being and single. Yeah, this is the single marriage segment. Today it's single and loving it or not. So um, let's start off with, are you guys single? And loving it. Oh. Ooh, hey. I think that was the next question, so. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was a little preemptive. Wow. Um, just she's like, just like seeing the future. Yeah. Yeah, it was like Mother's Day yesterday when I got stuff. I was like, is this preemptive Mother's Day? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the future, like, yesterday, and she's like, this kid came up to me and like, hey, do you want some candy? We're giving you a candy for all the moms in there. And I'm like, I'm not a mom yet. But yes. No, for future mothers. Yeah, I'm, I will there. be someday. Uh, someday. Yeah. So give me the co- give me the chocolate right now. Yeah. Do you get that problem, Phil? Um, I do. Yeah. Future mother and most all? of the time. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm preparing for okay. motherhood. Good. So. <laughs> Good to hear. Good Bye. to hear. Yeah, I'm do you think all guys so should. If you were gonna ask me. I don't know if you were. Like, oh. Are you loving it? Um. Yeah. Oh, we won't ask you that question. Yeah. Anyway, what if my answer like, I've never had anyone. <laughs> 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 it's really weird. We haven't had anyone who hasn't like loved being like have it hasn't hated being single. Yeah, it's well, true. You wouldn't admit that. On the radio. It's true. It's like, are you single? You are you loving it? No. That's hated it or that hasn't hated it. We ha- haven't had anyone on the show that's like I hate being single. I want to be in a relationship right now. Maybe yeah. I kind of want to be that then. Okay. Okay. You're gonna. Oh, okay. that you right extreme. Now? Okay, just like, just, right, like yeah. we'll give you a moment to prepare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Being single's the worst. Oh, <laughs> you know? I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was so good. That was just like award worthy. Yeah. I believe I know, you. I, know. I prepare for that. probably say she hates it. Oh, it's true, actually. She's not in Provo right now, but, mm-hmm. you know. She anyway, like nice. we won't say names. Oh, I wish I knew. We don't say names. We name names. We'll just make you, like, really <laughs> want to know. We'll just torture you Her name's way. Mildred. Mildred. <laughs> I miss <Why>? her. <laughs> because her name is Mildred. <laughs> change your first name when you get married maybe <laughs> <laughs> oh, like like man. real quick what's like the worst name you guys have ever heard like um, like na- like oh go my to the mom's cor- homecoming queen mm-hmm. was quinn quinn that was her i like that i'm kind of really? into that yeah. like her last yeah. name was double the quinn same as her first yeah name. no quinn squared like or wait wait Taylor. was that her middle name quinn quinn mm. like blank no no, like? no 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 she didn't have a middle name it yeah. was just straight quinn quinn, quinn, quinn. quinn. spelled the same way yeah like, oh gosh yeah. wouldn't that be weird q-i-i-n <laughs> 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 explain that the dmv oh man oh my gosh my name is quinn quinn oh and on a cruise i met a girl named treasure wow did hot. you spell it that's weird? Hot. No, no, like it's hot. Like pirate. You would Did like you get that? a number? You could be mine. Very treasure. Feels like I want some treasure. That's why I came here today. That's good. That's <laughs> I feel like Queen Quinn's like a rapper name or something like that. Queen yeah. Quinn. Or like. Can you be like? I think she is now. Oh, same little wavelength. Yeah. Or like a pop star or something like that. Ooh, but remember, okay, so I think the worst thing you can do to your child is to give their middle name a comma. So, like, <laughs> no, no, no. So, if my name's Elise Lindsay, if my middle name was a comma, can you imagine the stress? Yeah, how would so, like, you even pronounce that? Is her name Lindsay or, or Elise? Or yeah, like, Elise or Lindsay? Elise Lindsay, so, you know, it's a comma Lindsay. So, like, on all of my papers, it would say that. Yeah. It'd be like, is your name Lindsay? And I'd get really mad. <laughs> <laughs> Perpetually angry at the world. <laughs> yeah. It would cause you to become like a Batman villain or something like that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you, like all the out. best Batman villains start out with a good backstory. Yeah, yeah. And the comma in my middle name. Yeah, oh, it cause, <laughs> cause all my misery. <laughs> Darn you, oh my comma! Gosh, I would just be the comma. Yeah. Yeah, you would wow. be. Yeah, yeah, I'd have like yeah. awkward pauses. And I would break sentences. people up. I'd be like the heartbreak. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So like you know like commas separate things. <laughs> <laughs> you can stand in between the people. Like, I'm the comma. <laughs> I'm the comma. It's what I do. <laughs> On the subway, just push yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yeah, that's great. That's Your evilness would die. <laughs> I think we should make our own comic book, and you should be the bad guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, you could be the good guy. who doesn't want to be single. That's true. Oh, single okay. hater. Wait, would I be the good guy? Then? Angsty okay. about like love yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Okay. 
Um. Anyway, <laughs> also Kasmin. That's kind of a weird name. Girl, I Yasmin. was gonna say that. That was my answer. Yasmin. Yasmin. <laughs> Jasmine. Charizard. <laughs> Charizard. <laughs> Casper. <laughs> tell me. No. Tell me. Someone didn't call you Charizard. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. Oh, I did. Really? Yeah. I got called That's Charizard. how she introduced herself. I would have like, accepted anyway. that as my nickname. Oh, like, hi, I'm, I'm Charizard. Charizard? I know. Charizard? You I, so me. cool. <laughs> <laughs> I totally have your card. I, I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thinking in Japanese. I, I used to be Charmander. <laughs> but Charmander, yeah, it's Charizard. Oh, you're also a Kasmanian devil. That's true. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, your name is versatile. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I just have Greek people coming up to me and saying, your name is so cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sophia. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, stuff. Yeah, I've never heard that. Okay, we're going to focus. <laughs> Next okay. question. Are you, would you consider yourself a romantic or not? Define romantic. Like you define romantic. Squishy romantic. It doesn't have to be like okay. I'm gonna squishy bring you romantic. chocolates and that's what I call it. Okay. You know, flowers every day. Okay, because when, that's what I think when I think romantic. I think like okay. teddy bears and roses. And <laughs> yeah. People stereos outside your window. Yeah, don't mm-hmm. oh. sacking it up. What movie was that? Say anything. Say oh, okay. anything. Mm-hmm. Your oh, eyes. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, no, actually, hmm. if romantic was. No, no, no. There's no oh. metaphor to describe. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Fair void. No, I had this conversation with my roommates one time, and I was like, uh-huh. I'd be okay being proposed to with a mood ring. Oh, really? Yeah. That's just okay. Like, it just, I don't really see that sort of like I like to, ha- I like to have roses me out. I like to have my wedding ring be a mood ring so that my husband know what's up. Like, yeah. <laughs> song, K. Yeah. Is there a song uh, like, yeah, it's like all girls should wear mood rings. Yeah, That's exactly. Like, mood rings that actually work. No way. But yeah. you're serious about that. If a guy like, we're having a purple ring day today. Yeah, no like okay like yeah like diamond would be nice I guess. Maybe, but like it, like I don't know. But, but you think it's I'm like clever, like someone? Oh. Yeah. yeah, like clever. Diamonds aren't like, your best I friend. I like. I appreciate things that are more clever than like the like. Here's twelve roses. I'll love you till the last rose dies. And like the last <laughs> rose, rose is a plastic one. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just, like, That's kind of clever. <laughs> 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 Oh, look, oh, I can think of something like that. That's awesome. That's, yeah. uh, look, who's going to use that now? Look, we have... <laughs> Watch out, ladies. Know, ladies. Have <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, real quick. Before we get to the chat room, because people are talking, we have to take a commercial break real quick. Um, we'll come back, and we'll have more fun and questions for everyone here. When you think about an auto body shop, what services come to mind? Collision repair? Ding removal? Painting and detailing? How about headlight repair? power window repair, and carpet cleaning. Casey's Bend and Mend in Provo will take those unwanted bends out of your vehicle and mend it back to great shape. For 15 years, Casey's Bend and Mend owner, Kevin Stubbs, has been using his artistry to get you back on the road looking good. Personable and approachable, Kevin will provide a free estimate and offers discounts to students and self-pay clients, in addition to working with all the insurance companies. Trust your vehicle to a craftsman. Someone who will give you personal service and care. Casey's Bend and Mend, located at 85 East, 600 South in Provo. Give Kevin at Casey's Bend and Mend a call at 801-374-0930. You bend them, we mend them. Welcome back to Single and Loving It or Not. We're your hosts, um, Kazma Giles and Sophia Monet, Giles and Monet. <laughs> and um, we're here with Elise and Phil. And we are now getting serious because <laughs> that's what everyone wants. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, had a, we had a really great um, comment in the, in the chat room. And, I just, and I'm asking them at this moment, because, which is why I'm so quiet. Like, we want, him, we want him or her to talk more about what he meant because yeah. he said... Or she said, I want to say it's a he, I don't know why. Anyway, romance is deeper than things that are eaten or can go away. It's a state of being involved with another person. Now, what does that mean to each of you? That means that they never want to go out on dates and eat or (laughs) (laughs) be given flowers. Wait, so you say it's, I kind of heard the quote, can never be eaten or given away? Yeah, it's it's deeper. It's like romance is deeper than the things that are eaten or can go away. Like things are kind of like 
Um, temporal or like, fa- the like short lived. Yeah, it like it's a state of. That's kind of what she was saying anyway. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why what she's is not like? Revealed, what is like? Is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's the secret. It'll come out in the end. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just okay. building like, up tension. <laughs> like, no, but uh, definitely. I uh, guess it's saying that love has no expiration date, but hmm. I don't know if entirely I agree with that. Yeah. I feel like. The 50% divorce rate would speak differently. Oh, yeah. But I don't think there's romance involved in that. I think there's a lot of, like, other... Other factors. Other factors totally, like, I don't know, like, things that are driving you to get married for whatever reason or, like, things that come up or just people changing, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is that 50% divorce rate just in Utah or in, like... Everywhere. Like That's the state. It might be, like, 49 point something, but I think everyone... I think it's, like, higher now. Is it higher? Yeah, it's getting really nasty. Statistics. Yeah. Nasty. No, this person said that also that romance is a state of being involved with another person. What does that mean to each of you? Like, like aside from movies and songs and stuff. Can you say that again? What, what did they say? It's this st- Romance is a state of being involved with another person. Yeah. So, I mean, I like what they said first, that it kind of like transcends the teddy bears and the flowers and stuff like that. But even some of the other things that, that you mentioned um, that go into like a marriage, like the finances and the, I mean, there's a lot that goes into a relationship. I think love can transcend those things even. Like that's what, what's at the heart of a marriage or a relationship mm-hmm. is, you know, something that it's, it's about the person you're with, no matter all those um, extenuating circumstances. Yeah. Well, yeah, and when you say like a state of being involved, I think it's going from one to two. And no matter how you play that, things mm-hmm. are going to be different. Yeah. So whether it's True. like getting married, getting a boyfriend, going on dates, going from focusing on yourself to suddenly worrying about two people, that requires a lot more like compassion, a lot more service yeah. to make like the love and the romance. Yeah, life. so going from me to we. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I still I like that. I still like that from a commercial. <laughs> I like That's that. nice. <laughs> I don't practice originality. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Next question. What do you notice about other guys and gr- girls? First. Like, what attracts you like, to people? What's the, the first, first thing? thing you notice? Humor. Definitely. Humor? Like cleverness. So that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Well, just like um, the ability to like keep up. Yeah. Like, like the snappy conversation. I don't know if that like... Yeah, it's just, it's just not very many people can do it. That's oh, true. Here, like, taking me ten minutes to catch up with Elise. Yeah, like, like, I, I feel like I'm a, like, I feel like a turtle. Or <laughs> I feel like a turtle in the race with the hair, and I'm not gonna win. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I trip a lot. It, yeah. Okay. No, oh, that's good. Extended metaphor. Yeah, wow, see, that was really there you good. go. Talk not done until you make one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, fair enough. That is the first thing I look for. What about you? Um, I'm similar to that. I don't know if it's like limited to, to humor, but like communication style. I think that for the most part is like the X factor. Like I can figure out within the first five ten minutes if like I'm I'm really interested in someone, just like how they interact. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I think again like a lot of that that X factor that determines if I'm actually into them or not is how they communicate and mm-hmm. how okay. we how we mesh. Ooh. Yeah. What if what if we were shallow? Like physical things you notice yeah. first. Okay. This is what I came here for. Right? Yeah, <laughs> came to be in the okay, shallows. Probably, probably height. Yeah. Like mm. I'm, I'm pretty tall for like mm, girl and uh, girl. especially tall <laughs> family wise. Like I've I've told you. Yeah. Um, my brother he's six foot five and he's eighteen. My other brother six. My mom's wow. six two. My dad's six two. They call me runt. Oh. Like, <laughs> like I'm you? 5'10". Oh, you're, you're 5'10". You're just the runt of the yeah, family. You don't know. even belong. I was just raised in a family of tall kitchen counters and bathroom I counters. understand. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what I'm used to looking for. Okay. That's nice. Um, a smile. Like, a good smile can, like, I, I don't know, for me, can really grab my attention. So. Like, do you get scared of really <laughs> ugly smiles? I do, yeah. Like, I mean... <laughs> 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 One of the, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's yeah, actually, <laughs> the, wow. The that's creepy head tilt. <laughs> I'm really good at it. Well, actually, um, I think Phil will probably attest to it. Like, the more you get to know a person, I think the more physically they become attractive. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, that like, is if they've got, yep. People say that all the time, like, oh, personality outshines their looks, but it, like, it actually happens. Yeah. Like, the you more have, you get to know a person, yeah. like, the more attractive you have to be initially, like, like kind of attracted to them. <laughs> Yeah. No, I think, well, yeah. To start out with, yeah. I mean, bit. there has to be some physical attraction. Right. If else. you're at least a five, then you, then you'll be. All right. That's what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feel out of. <laughs> Usually ten, but oh. for me six. So six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Skills out of five. Yeah. <laughs> bottom, five. Top, bottom is five. I can't go any lower. No lower. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Okay. Next question. <laughs> is it hard for you to interact with the opposite gender? <laughs> 
Well, as I've mentioned before, a lot of brothers. Mm. So, so no. Actually, I'm pretty infamous for friend zoning pretty fast. Really? Yeah. yeah. Just because I'm used to hanging around boys because of my, my brothers and my boy cousins. and mm -hmm. uh, mm, Okay. Boys. So, yeah. Wait, wait. So you friend zone others or you? Really fast. Like, um, not on purpose, but I just get to know people really fast. You're it's that girl. That's good. That's good. <laughs> See, That's I great. just got serious. Sorry. <laughs> Watch that happen. <laughs> we it was painful for all of us, here. so yeah. Uh, we're we're going to have a brawl. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have a brawl. <laughs> 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 we're going to have a brawl. Just wait for the commercial. Let's wait for the commercial. It's fine. All right. Well, no. Um, Here, my next question. Yeah. Next question. Go. I guess it's not like friend zoning on purpose. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. accidental. Like um, even if I'm interested in a guy, um, he thinks I, I'm not just because of the way I act. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I do that sometimes. Accidental too. friend zone. Okay, that's yeah. new to me. It happens a lot. It's a very real problem. <laughs> no one has accidentally friend zoned you. I. It's all on well, now, now that that's an <laughs> option. <laughs> Now that that's an option, they all accidentally friend zone me, uh, so that's good. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Wait, you didn't answer the question. Oh, wait, what was the question? Uh, is it hard for you to interact with the opposite gender? Is it hard to talk to girls? Um, only only with girls that friend zone. Like, other than that, like, I interact great, like, I, I think. Okay. Okay, yeah. Good. It's a good friend zoning, girls, you know. Those, yeah. Like... If you go on a blind date, uh -huh. is it totally normal? Can you just be like, oh, la, 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 talk the bricks off a wall? Okay, well, that really depends on who the blind date is. That's true. <laughs> and yeah. where you are. That's and what kind of smile she, she or she has. Garden, making awkward eye contact with uh. her breadsticks. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, if you go, like, bowling, you can talk about bowling the whole time and never talk about anything else. And, and joke about how you keep on getting other balls. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, not that I'm talking from personal experience. Gutter things up. <laughs> yeah, it the hopped bumpers. over no, yeah, the bumpers. The, the bumpers were up, and I still got a gutter ball. Wow. And it was, it's on video. That you can talk about. <laughs> was this on a date? <laughs> no, it wasn't on a date. It was my friend's birthday party, and I like was okay. like, ha ha ha, guys, I'm gonna do so well. And then I chucked it, and it went. <laughs> it got stuck. <laughs> and then they come get the guy out, and he was like, how did you? <laughs> Oh my gosh. And I was 12, so it was scarring. Uh, <laughs> once at a bowling alley, we threw the bowling ball accidentally. This girl had never played at the gate. Like when it comes down and like pulls the pins away, she threw it right at the gate. And the guy came out and was like, can you guys leave right now? Like, this is not a joke. And we were like, whoa. Okay. So we got kicked out of the bowling alley. Nice. Not a big deal. Wait, check that uh, off the bucket list. Yeah. yeah. Right? Kicked out of a kicked bowling alley. Bowling. I kind of want that to happen to me now. Yeah. Okay. okay, describe your ideal date. April 27th, because it's not too hot. <laughs> 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 not yes. too hot, it's yeah. not too cold. The date's not done until you make a legally blonde quote. Um, okay, <laughs> so ideal date. Yeah. I've told Kaz this before, it's not a joke. A monster truck rally. It's not a joke. <laughs> no, no, no. It would be so fun. That First actually off, would I've be always fun. wanted to go to one. Second off, because you can scream and yell, and you really find out if the person can like match you enthusiasm-wise. And also, okay. there's lots of weird people to watch. And there's yeah, I can imagine yeah. that <laughs> trucks crashing. I, I'm there already. Yeah, oh, I love the show. I have, it's my no, projection. Catherine can attest. I have Googled this. She has multiple times trying to find one close by. <laughs> I can. I, I promise her, if I can't take a date to it, then. She and I are dressing up like rednecks and going. Right. Or you can make your own monster truck rally. That's another option, right? It's like Hot Wheels? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. That's, that's my perfect Someone date. Someone take so. her on this date. <laughs> Please. <laughs> You're going. <laughs> Actually, I think it'd be really fun. I'd go with you. Yeah, it would be awesome. Okay. And the people there would be entertaining by half. And Okay, we would show that we were single and loving it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> With signs. Yeah. Um, Can we make t-shirts? <laughs> I think see, you're obligated to now. My ideal date, if, if I could take a girl to like a football game, to like a sporting event, and she she knew what was going on, and she was like engaged in it, and like she was going crazy, like you said, at a monster rally, that would be... Awesome. <laughs> yeah, like what type of sporting event? Yeah. Like women's volleyball? Like <laughs> yeah, that's nice. But football, um, mostly golf. football or like even baseball, like a nice chill baseball mm -hmm. game is cool. Baseball. Uh, what cool. if she knows nothing about like baseball, but you take so her and she's still like, oh, yeah, hit the ball, run. <laughs> I know. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. that, that's so something. <laughs> and I had like a panic attack. I didn't even know what, what like baseball was basically. And I was uh, freaking out. Yeah. yeah. I've been to one baseball game and we left early. I don't, I don't like baseball, uh, but I do like football. Yeah, I there we have, go. That's all sports <clears throat> classes. Okay. A in a row. Mm. I never did. That's something to be proud of. It is. Okay. Mm. okay. You can come with me on my perfect date. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> we'll sit in the Uh-oh. row behind you and whisper things, sweet nothings in your ear. <laughs> sweet nothings. Okay, first off, can someone define that for me? Yeah, if like, what is your viewpoint nothing, on sweet nothings? What does that mean? Like, like how do you view them? Is it minty fresh gum and you're just not saying anything? Because that's sweet, <laughs> that's nothing. <laughs> wow, that smells really good. <laughs> <laughs> but you're saying nothing. <laughs> like, is it like reciting Shakespeare in their ear? What does that even mean? Yeah. I guess nothing in the sense I don't of, really like, know small what sweet talk. That'd be just but even small talk, that's weird. But yeah. the weather's the weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, really, why would you be saying that close? Like so quiet. Your ears are really small. <laughs> the humidity is nice this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sweet nothing. Uh, okay, that's really funny. Okay, do you guys believe in a one and only? No, definitely not. So you believe there's like multiple people that you could be compatible with? Well, no. yeah, I don't believe in the whole fish in the sea nonsense because, like, if you really think about it, okay, fish in the sea. Now, how many of them are in your age group? Okay, those are down. Now, how many of them are male? Okay, now it's in half again, <laughs> and I don't know. How I many like how that <laughs> that, that came. <laughs> <second>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Phil has a point. Hey, how many of them are male? <laughs> how many okay. of them are in your age group? <laughs> and um, how many of them, I don't know, are practice your same religion? Okay. Right down again. And now that you get along with and are attracted to, okay, maybe there's like seven people. In the world? Yeah, yeah. how big is this ocean? <laughs> are we out of the whole world? <laughs> <laughs> That's good though, no seven. No. And are we gonna go see the whole world? Like there may be a perfect match for me in India. And I'm <laughs> in India. <laughs> uh, uh, mine is really attractive. Yeah. <laughs> Kasman will never find true love. <laughs> she I'm so speak sorry, the same language. <laughs> You're gonna be true. lonely for the rest of your life. You're gonna have a lot of cats. <laughs> oh, we, don't, we don't have to speak the same language. We can just <laughs> nod and do sign language with each other. Whisper sweet nothings. That's sweet right. sweet nothings Trans- in a different language. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Sweet nothing's probably translated differently. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Did you answer the question? What was the question? One and what was lo- oh, one and only. One and only. Like, I really like that idea. Like it's a really neat and like romantic <clears throat> idea, but I, I don't believe in it. Mm, I know. Okay. You know. I think that like you hear it like from Greek myths and stuff and you hear it from fairy tales and I have yet to see it. It's really nice. It's a nice idea. I love that idea. Mm. But then it's really unrealistic. I think yeah. it happens it's for some funny. people. Like I've heard stories about like I people like they meet each other when and they're in high school or middle school, you know, like high school sweethearts. Mm-hmm. I think first sight. that's kind yeah. of a kind of a thing, but I mean for me that hasn't happened yeah. yet. So. Yeah. Speaking of love at first sight, do you guys believe in love at first sight? I believe in attraction at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. I'm with her on that one. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, it's like, not love at first sight. Okay, yeah, there could be like an instant either. like connection, but like as far as like love goes, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I feel like that takes a like, lot longer. Like 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 I think love, it takes a long time. Like at first sight or something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Love is like I don't know. It's something that's way too deep to be figured out in like five seconds. Love yeah. comes with time, and time doesn't happen within fifteen seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> unless you're like in the inception or something. No, that didn't even make sense. But whatever. No, you can make as many Inception jokes as you want. I think that's the point. Yeah. Yeah, like you so many different like, levels. And that's the jokes like, are Inception like, itself. Like Inception. People be like, yeah, right. <laughs> totally works. It's true. Yeah, it makes sense. You're dreaming. So. Totally. But why? Don't... Okay, anyway. Yeah. Oh, actually, I heard a trivia fact. I think they brought this up on another show. That was like guys fall in love on average on the third date, and girls it's like the ninth or something. Oh, I think like it was oh like the fourteenth. Fourteenth. You're right. It was like the fourteenth date. Yeah, yeah, and the guys fall in love at the three third. I'm a two dater myself. Oh, yeah, that's, sure. that's when I fall in love. <laughs> Personally, I'm 597. Yeah. Wow, we haven't reached that 596. Just oh, almost, <laughs> almost. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> it's a long, it's a long dating experience, in, Sophia. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm like a crab or something. Anyway, like it's going in, like branching off from that. Do you believe that people can fall in love over a short period of time? Like you see it in like a, yes, like, actually, yeah. Um, if if by short period you're meaning like two days, yeah, um, like it, just, it really depends on the person. Um, yeah, people connect a lot faster than I do. <laughs> well, yeah, especially like, here too, like the culture here, I feel mm-hmm. like that happens like all the time. Yeah, it's because we're not going into a date thinking like this could be a really cool girlfriend. Maybe we'll move into an apartment together. <laughs> yeah. We're thinking like, like, like eternal like, marriage. I'm changing yeah, like, her last name. That's we what. will never leave her all of eternity. Our hearts are entwined forever and ever. Yeah. <laughs> we are stuck for the rest of time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely, it's a different game out here. And that freaked me out when I first came out Mm -hmm. a lot. 
Where did you come where, where are you from? I'm from Florida. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? California. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, different coasts. I know, nice. There you go. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> like yeah. as far away as you could possibly get from each other. And like now we're we as close as we could possibly get to each other. <laughs> well, yes. not yet. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> well, we'll see how the rest of the show goes. <laughs> okay, I think we should take a real quick commercial break. Okay, and we'll be right and then back. We'll have serious questions for both of you. <laughs> serious. When you think about an auto body shop, what services come to mind? Collision repair? Ding removal? Painting and detailing? How about headlight repair? Power window repair and carpet cleaning? Casey's Bend and Mend in Provo will take those unwanted bends out of your vehicle and mend it back to great shape. For 15 years, Casey's Bend and Mend owner, Kevin Stubbs, has been using his artistry to get you back on the road looking good. Personable and approachable, Kevin will provide a free estimate and offers discounts to students and self-pay clients, in addition to working with all the insurance companies. Trust your vehicle to a craftsman, someone who will give you personal service and care. Casey's Bend and Mend, located at 85 East, 600 South in Provo. Give Kevin at Casey's Bend and Mend a call at 801-374-0930. You bend them, we mend them. Welcome back to Single and Loving It or Not with Giles and Monet, Love yep. Detectives. And our guests, Elise and Phil. Howdy. <laughs> not Love Detectives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just use that to sound cool. Yeah. It's like Sherlock and... I don't Watch even know Watson. how that really started, but that's okay. I think, I think, it was a, it was, I, think it was I made a joke, joke and, an apparent, and then I saw the title card. Hey, Love Detectives. I didn't... Oh, yeah. yeah. Somehow that stuck. <laughs> I don't know. stuck and we shall you're forever... You're because you're Watson. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I am Watson. I don't know. I kind of feel you... I'd be sure Watson. Love. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sure Love. What? Sure Love. Sure Love. Bravo. Wait, what? Like, we should just call our show Sure Love from now on. Sure. I like that a lot. I like that, too. Yeah, no, I see. Ooh. Okay, Parson. Anyway, okay. we're going to some more serious questions <laughs> We're, we're going to get real serious and depressing now. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. I'm Let's go for it. Okay, do you guys ever get lonely being single? Ooh. Get lonely? Yeah, like... Lonely. Like all your friends going out, and all of a sudden you're sitting at home I'm eating, so like, potato chips and lonely. watching a movie or something. Or ice cream. Which movie? That's not that bad. Okay. That sounds great. That sounds great. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe it's like a subconscious telling me, don't ask this question. It's not going to oh, happen. Gosh. <laughs> Okay, in all honesty, like, not a whole lot, mm-hmm. but mainly because, I don't know, like, you hear about yeah. those girls that, like, just go from boyfriend to boyfriend to boyfriend, never have, like, break periods. Serial like, daters. I'm the opposite. It's like, break, <laughs> break. <laughs> <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be like a radar thing. Yeah, like, like, yeah. you're going to be really far away. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> okay. For the sonar. But, um, so, not like, I'm just used to, you know, like, I have a lot of really good friends that I spend a lot of time with, so I guess... Like, I guess sometimes, like, if, yeah. like, some of my friends are, like, out on dates or stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But it just, like, really briefly. Like, I'm being completely honest here. It yeah. doesn't happen a whole lot. Yeah. Um, no, honestly, this is what though, we're going for. Yeah, but honestly, <laughs> I don't understand those girls that are, like, serial daters and, like, just, like, find yeah. one person to the next. Like, they break up with their boyfriend, and the next day they have someone else. I'm like, where did you find him? The grocery <laughs> store? <laughs> the is, yes. Did you go to the man? <laughs> no. Um, I think it's because they actually get in the habit of it. So, um, like, earlier we were talking about, like, me to we. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people just go to that we and never leave. Yeah, they go to the Man Depot. And yeah, they have, and my like, special gift man card. Man Depot. <laughs> <laughs> it's by the saws and the hammers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but seriously though, like I, I, I don't know. I've been in we, me for so long that it's hard for me to break out of it. Mm-hmm. And for some people, they've been in we for so long you can't imagine ever not being in it. Hmm. Okay, because yeah. a, a lot of that's like a confidence thing too. I don't know the girls that I met that like hop from boyfriend to boyfriend. I, I always get the feeling that they kind of need that validation of being someone like yeah. oh someone oh. likes me something like yeah. you know something like, I'm attractive myself, I'm nothing. Mm-hmm. they oh, like being stuff. the number one in someone else's life a lot of times like a lot of people need to be the favorite mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's so true. like 
I don't know. So I feel like when you meet certain girls that are just like, yes, 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 yes. It's like, he brings me flowers. He takes me on dates. I always know what yeah. I'm doing Friday night. Yeah, mm, okay. it's true. And so, like, uh, part of the adventure of my Friday nights, I guess, is like that I don't know what's happening until oh, anything it could happen. It's all up in the air. I mean, it could be Tarzan. It could be Dumbo. <laughs> it could be Table. Any number <laughs> of Disney <laughs> movies. <laughs> anything but Dumbo. Anything but Dumbo. Okay, not, you're right. Not Dumbo. Mulan two. Mulan two. <laughs> Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Anyway, awful movie. Yeah. Okay, did we? Did both of you answer that question? Um, I I don't get lonely that often. I mm. I'm kind of like her. I I mean I, I have kind of a core group of friends, and you know yeah. who who knows what happens every Friday night, that sort yeah. of thing. What Disney movie? Um, <laughs> but I mean you know it's it's always it'd be nice to be in a relationship. I don't think that necessarily means just because I'm not lonely doesn't mean I'm not looking for a relationship. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. and That's I think true. it also has to do a lot about age. Um, even though I'm like 20 and a lot of girls are married and have four kids, mine now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think, like, mentally, wow. I'm just not in that state of mind to be looking for that yet. Yeah. 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 Young and wild and free. That's right. Yeah. That's the least. That's right. I think <laughs> no show is complete <laughs> without a Wiz smile. Khalifa <laughs> reference. No show is complete without it. it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> True story. Um, okay. Why do you guys think that there's so much pressure not to be single? In our, like, especially in here, culture. like, in Provo. <laughs> well, a lot of it has to do with the media. I mean, how many chick flicks yeah. gross every year? Uh, you know, I'd love you're right. a statistic. Like, oh gosh. It's just like you the go vow. to the movies and you go with friends like, oh, Shane Tatum. Oh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, this guy. Oh, this girl. Like, oh, I hate, oh, look at their romantic I hate being single. Uh, yeah. yeah. I need a man in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it's true. Like, we're like, and we're raised with what Barbie and Ken. <laughs> Is there ever like independent lawyer Barbie? Like, I'm not being like feminist here. <laughs> I, I have really that not. one. I'm getting I honestly think, no, I honestly think that marriage is a wonderful thing, and one day I'd want it for myself. Yeah. But like we're definitely not raised that way. Yeah. We're definitely like given a Barbie and a Ken, and Barbie's not happy until she's in her convertible with Ken driving to their Malibu beach. House. Really? I always do oh. Ken in the pool or something like that. I did horrible things to my Ken dolls. You're you're like my cousins. They strapped my Barbie dolls on the rockets. Shot <laughs> <laughs> did you get that idea from Toy Story? Or something? <laughs> what? Did you get that idea from Toy Story or something? No, no. seriously though. Like, I think Toy Story they got the I'm idea from sure her. <laughs> Came out. Makes sense. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, what are serious? What are what are serious red flags that girls and guys need to watch out for in dates? Like, are in dating someone? Yeah. yeah. Like, um, like, what are the really bad things that people need to look, like kids need like kids our age need to work out look out for? Um, maybe. Okay, I know it's kind of weird, but like. Uh, like money irresponsibility. Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So like you go on a date. And it's school irresponsibility. Like, like, let's just leave her a hundred dollar tip. Like, that's sweet. Two hundred percent sweet, but necessary. I mean, he's rich, yeah. And like, and even if he's rich, that's still not smart. No. Like, um, one of the biggest turnouts for me actually is a guy with a nice car, and I know that's weird. <laughs> like, but like at least in college anyway, like mm, um, guys yeah. with super nice cars, I'm just like. So what does it say about you? It feels like, dang it. Your ego you know. is very easy. Oh, yeah, shattered. my car's really nice, so it's not going to work out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Ford Taurus. Are really, <laughs> yeah. Real comparable. Yeah. That's good. It's, uh, it's really nice. Yeah. I don't know. Red flags for me, I, I've had girls on dates, like, immediately start talking about, like, commitment and marriage and stuff and I, I don't know if that happens like outside of of utah no. but it's um, yeah it, it's weird to me like yeah. girls that get committed too fast even like not on first like girls yeah. that i've dated they just get committed too fast preemptively look forward to it and talk to you about it yeah. like, talk about your, i don't need my yeah. children and i just met you five years five minutes ago yeah, yeah. hypothetically uh, speaking my colors for my fall wedding would be no, red and exactly <laughs> You would get married in my steak center? I actually oh, had no. a girl... In the temple at the reception in my steak center. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had a girl that um, she dropped the L-bomb after two weeks of dating. Two weeks of dating. Wow. That's, that's love for everyone. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's right. the like <laughs> yeah. <ball>. I, <laughs> yeah, I really you, like you. you. I, I'm like. so in my dinner. <laughs> was that your, no, it wasn't your like 14th you. date with her? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, something like oh. that. No. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Wait, yeah. speaking of which, I think we had this conversation the other day mm -hmm. on, like, a big group date. But what? when do you think it's appropriate to talk about politics and exes oh. and religion because on a date? I personally think politics and religion, go for it. Like, oh, I don't that's care. Too. Like, let's let's duke it out. I want to know where you stand here so I can't make, like, an awkward Let's just, like, let's wait until we get into a boxing like ring, yeah. and then we talk like, about girl, it. Ex-boyfriends or ex-girlfriends, like... 
Unless it's like a, oh, that's my ex girlfriend over there. <laughs> 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 like, oh, hey, like this is Cheryl. We used to date. It's like, oh, okay. Apart from that, like, let's not talk about it, please. Yeah, I like, agree. Just, no, it gets weird. I don't like yeah. this. Unless it's done tastefully. <clears throat> right, and there's an appropriate time for that. I think after you've like reached the level of friendship, like where you yeah. feel comfortable talking about important things, that's actually, I think, sometimes an okay icebreaker. Not icebreaker, like when you're meeting them. Like, so I have an ex. No, but like transcending to the next level. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, cool. How many exes do you have? <laughs> Um, <laughs> but it's like when you're trying to get to the next level of being able to talk about serious things, that's not a bad bad way to do it. Just like learn about yeah. their past relationships, you know, what yeah. their experience see, like, like that. How they like how things ended and to see like yeah. maybe well, yeah. predict the future by seeing the um, past and stuff. Exactly. You can learn a lot about a person yeah. like that, I think. And honestly, I don't really date people unless like I've known them for a while and I'm like mm-hmm. friends. So uh-huh. we've talked about this before. Mm-hmm. Like most yeah. likely. Like <clears throat> blind dates, yeah, I can see that being really weird. <laughs> but like if it's a guy I've been friends with for like five months already and we're just like on a date then I probably already know this stuff about him yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. that's true okay fair enough (laughs) how do you guys think it's okay dating multiple people at once oh yeah yeah oh yeah do you mean like (laughs) dating like serious like holding hands kissing in the car oh yeah (laughs) 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 no but um you've really like sort of in a way committed to somebody yeah like you are de- taking them out every okay. weekend mm. um unless it's like a blind date to the player cousin and you can't yeah. really get out of it mm-hmm. yeah i feel like going out and asking the other girls yeah one-time dates like i don't know different girl like yeah. this weekend and this weekend i think it's so fine. that's fine I think it's easy, like, after you've determined your relationship. <laughs> I mean, after, you like, you know where you stand with, like, I, I'd i like to know when I'm exclusive and when I'm not. And I, yeah. I make that pretty clear. Like, I'll say, like, I'm not yeah. dating anyone else. Yeah. Let's yeah. be exclusive, things like that. But <laughs> no, if that's, like, not said, then. Yeah, we make fun of DTRs, but they're super important. <laughs> mm-hmm. Otherwise, you have no idea where you stand. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think one of the most genius birthday gifts I ever heard of was one that Phil got for one of his birthdays. <laughs> it's Ooh, true. It's true. It was Last sweet. One. This was the best birthday present I ever got. Um, <laughs> my friend, he actually set me up on 15 dates. Whoa. Fif- yeah, no, no, no. It's like so a calendar. He got a calendar and had girls sign up for different days for them to take me out. Right. Yeah. Not, not only am I going month. out. With this, I know, right? Not yeah. only am I going out, I'm go. getting treated out to dinner, to movies. So sweet. Was it so, one a week? Really nice. um, it depended on the week. Like it was, like sometimes I'd have a few on one weekend. Sometimes there'd only be one a week. That's but it was really nice. Sweet. That's, that's really that's nice. Awesome. That's, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. No, it was great. Okay, everyone out in the audience, you know what we want for our birthday now. If you know us, you know what's uh, you know what we want. Go do it. <laughs> Give me a calendar. Okay. Come on, calendars. Awesome. They're that's available awesome. everywhere. Okay. Next question. Okay. <laughs> How long should a couple date before getting married? Hmm. Again, really, really depends on the couple. I don't think we can be like, there's a specific formula. <coughs> yeah. Like, the yeah. Four months the X is equal to negative B. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take away the exponent. No, but um, <laughs> I honestly think it really depends. Some people, like, I've heard stories that we used to have a roommate whose parents got engaged on, like, the third date. Wow. Or Whoa. Ridiculous. Whoa. I think my parents personally dated, like, Are they still five together? Months. Yeah. <coughs> Whoa, yeah. okay. And they had those three dates in one week, so. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It's actually three dates in one day. <laughs> oh, okay. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. <laughs> and they had breaks in between. No. Okay, good. But um, and some people like uh, one of my friends just recently got engaged, and she's been dating uh, him for a year. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so like, and then we've had friends who've been dating even longer than a year. It just mm-hmm. it really depends on how fast you move, commitment wise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, for myself, like, cause I, I hear stories of that happening, like people getting engaged really fast and dating for a really short time. I could never see that working out for me. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it'd have to be some freak of nature. The, yeah. so the girl would have to be a freak of nature. Oh, That's okay. for me to, to want to marry her. Out that of fast. this world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> be with me now. <laughs> be with me forever. Poor hand, girl. I love you. I'm um. <laughs> Soul. Where's the closest mood ring? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, no. I think that I. I don't know. Personally, I'd be like long dating span, short engagement. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like that's what they say. It, yeah, it's what, it's what it's what they say. <laughs> Tested a true method. Yeah, they don't test at I'm Stanford. Very no. <laughs> mm, but Same for me. Yeah, I don't think I could get like engaged in a week or maybe like a month. Like, or I hear people dating like three months and they get engaged. I think I think it's kind of ridiculous. Like, no. you don't know someone in three months. 
<laughs> yeah, um, I think I actually read something somewhere. Here's me quoting randomly from the internet. <laughs> that, um, you know a person, uh, you really know a person after a year. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, like, the, the time when you go from just, like, being friends and kind of being yeah. comfortable around each other to, like, knowing them. And you can see them in all different sorts yeah. of scenarios. That's what I've heard. Yeah, the, the, like, the four seasons thing. I don't know if you've heard yeah, that Yeah, my before. mom always tells me that you have to see them with kids. You have to see them in really bad times when they're financially stressed out yeah, just I'm, to see who this person is and yeah, what you're getting into. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Now... We have that question, and now I have to ask, how long should an engagement last? Um, well, till break from school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Engagement should be short. I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty big believer in that, yeah, actually. me too. Um, there's no really point putting it off. So, like, if you're in fall yeah. semester, you get married that winter. If you're in yeah. winter, you get married that winter. Yeah, I don't understand putting it off for, like, a year or so. Yeah, it's weird. I don't see the point. Like, unless you're wedding, like, a really expensive wedding and you're saving up money. Unless you're Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you've figured it out by that time, you know, yeah. that you've proposed to him that you you don't need too much longer to get to know him. Yeah, I've actually heard a lot of stories lately of people who have the temple date set before they even get the ring. Like, oh, yeah. it's becoming, like, tradition in our award yeah. and, like, my friend group. I'm yeah. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I know. We've known a couple people that have done that. Yeah. I'm like, what? A couple people it worked out really well for. Yeah. I was like, good job. I know. Way you. to go. <laughs> Way to be. Okay. Do you want to ask the next question? Okay. <clears throat> This is kind of an obvious question. I don't know where it came from. Do you think pity dating is a good idea? Is it something? I was not expected. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, now that you mention it, I love it. I don't know where it. that question came from, but I thought <laughs> I would read it off the screen. Pity dates. Yeah, Honestly, the greatest. Those make me feel so good. Yeah. Well, I don't understand why people say yes to them in the first I know. Place. I have a friend that does this, and it makes me so mad. It just doesn't make any sense, like especially in this culture. Like, what? Someone does that? I mean, it's nice to be nice. Like this friend, he, he's a nice guy, but like really, I, I think you're hurting the person ultimately. Is he asking? He them asks or saying them? Yes, to be dating. Um, here's the like. So I, I remember the first one. He was asked. It was like a preference or something like okay. that. But then, not being interested in the girl, he was going on some activity and he asked her to to do it. Oh, like it, that's bad. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. Right. Um, like you need like Doug. Yeah, like, Let's <laughs> <laughs> just call everyone out over the air. <laughs> Doug, are you listening? <laughs> tap, tap, tap. No more pity dates, please. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, pity dates bad, bad news. Um, saying yes to the first one, that's good. Um, yeah, especially I think if it's fine. a girl. Give someone a chance. Yeah, um, we don't deserve hurt a chance. Someone. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then after the first one, just be honest. Just be like, you're yeah. a great person, even if they're not. Just be like, I just, <laughs> you're great. So I just be honest. honest. <laughs> <laughs> just be honest and lie. <laughs> I'm being honest right now. I'm lying to you when I say that. Honestly, I'm lying. <laughs> no, but yeah, um, pity dates. Bad news. Don't don't. So they make me. Slope. Well, here's like I keep no. on saying this. Like I have a philosophy that like if you're like pity dating someone, are you pity marry someone? You're keeping them from a person that can keep make them happy, and only not only that, keeping that yourself from someone who can make you really happy. Mm-hmm. And so it's kind of like maybe like even maybe a selfish kind of it's a waste action. Of time. And yeah. I've heard stories of that too. Like you've heard like pity marrying almost like maybe yeah. that's kind of a strong term, but like mm-hmm. people where one party is more more interested in the mm-hmm, other yeah. and just kind of like keeps working at it to convince the other person to marry yeah. it. I, I don't think it should work like that. Yeah, that just no, doesn't, doesn't really make sense. So. Yeah, it it's should be true. like almost a Disney movie. And in a sense, almost. like you almost. deserve better. <laughs> yeah, like you shouldn't have to convince someone to love you. Yeah, like it should be a debate. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 like a pros and cons. List. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, pros of loving you, cons of loving you. Okay, speaking of the list, though, you know when girls make like. Checklists. Oh God! Like young woman checklists. Oh, <laughs> do you think those woman. are a good idea? I feel like that's. But, well, okay, tell me about uh, it. Okay, so I wasn't a young thing, woman, though. so. Please. Okay, you I'll tell you. Young women, so I thought you were preparing for mother. Well, like, I am doing that. But. Yeah. it's like plays <laughs> guitar. Study. Has blue eyes. Yeah, blue Indian eyes. brown hair. Brown, hair. brown hair. One Sunday from a certain country. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> people come in with a box and a ton of paper and pencils and say, write out the attributes of your perfect man, and it's the. Anyway, I don't like that lesson. <laughs> oh, yeah. so they come in, and these girls start writing things, like, because you're, what, 16? Mm-hmm. The things you like are, like, Zac Efron. So, like, like yeah. I don't even know what love is. <laughs> and then, like, you turn Zach. missionary, because you're a woman later looking at you funny. And then, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you start writing things, like, he's tall, has a great sense of humor, has Six a nice pack. car. Yeah. Six yeah. Pack. <laughs> but, right? Like, it's yeah, awful. Yeah. Like, that's, well, what they, that's what they do. Mm-hmm. So, so, it's so true. <laughs> but, anyway... 
True story. We have. People. What you don't know is they actually take those checklists and give them to the young men, and oh. that's what we strive to be. So if it's like being from a certain country, we'll move. Don't think we won't. Like guitar, Kazakhstan? contact. Yeah, because I'm actually, moving there now. Actually, I think that was actually on my list. Is that you had to have an Australian accent, and no. I don't know why. That I'm was pretty on sure there. a British accent was on mine. Really? Yeah, yeah British accent. Why. Accents is one of the lessons me. from the young men's manual. So oh. that's. Because I didn't know <laughs> how to fake an accent. I know. For your work. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good at it? Have you gotten good? Can you prove it? Um, I, I haven't. I failed those. That's, I'm single. Oh. Right? Okay, Aaron, <laughs> where are you from? Idaho. Idaho. I'm from Idaho. I'm from uh, Pocatello, Idaho. <laughs> Paris, okay, I am Paris, Idaho. English country, we eat fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, real quick. I, I have a question because I see this all the time. Is it weird for a return missionary oh. to date a freshman? Oh, gosh. Um, okay, personally speaking, for my freshman year, mm -hmm. uh, it was weird. Yeah? Like, j I, like we thought not, it was weird. I, it was, like, it worked out for the girls in question, and I was really happy for them. They were a lot more mature than I was, but I'm technically, like, 14 at heart, I think. And so I was like, technically oh, my speaking, gosh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it was forbidden, yeah. too, for me and my home. I was like, no return missionaries. And I was like... They're all well, crazy. And the stories you yeah, hear, know. like you're scared of them. You're afraid, like you yeah. talk to one and make eye contact for too long, and they'll propose. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, uh, that's what I was told. Yeah, seriously. Like, no, you you come to BYU within the first couple weeks. All you hear is about like, and she got engaged in three weeks, <laughs> and you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what is this happening? From high school. We got out of high school like a month ago. What's I going on? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That just happened to my cousin, actually, a return missionary. You just know what? A I'm return missionary right. happened to her. Uh, yeah, that's right. Well, so the guy, he, the guy's my cousin. He got back from his mission. He married the girl that was the conductor at his um, missionary homecoming. Like literally, first girl he sees when he gets back. You know. <laughs> and wow. <laughs> first date he goes that's on is with this girl. I've ever heard. That's right. So, I, I mean, it happens. I remember when I was yeah. a freshman thinking that was weird and not liking the RM guys because when you're a freshman dude, yeah. it's like, you know, man, <laughs> like, like no, know. no girl's going to commit to preemie. Like. Yeah. We had a friend write a paper about that, actually. He did. It was really funny. You know, the preemie problem. No. That was <laughs> they it was hard. With the RMs. No, they can't. Yeah. Um, so then from an RM perspective, my mom... Every time I talk to her on the phone, she'll tell me, like, you can't date 18-year-olds. You can't date 18-year-olds. You can't date freshmen. I'm like, but they always, they're so great. They're so cute. They're so fresh. They're so fresh. They're so fresh. They're fresh. They're so fresh. So if you see the four doors parked outside Heritage Hall. That would be Phil. That's right. Come get his number. Thank you. But seriously speaking, there there is a huge, generally speaking, there's like a huge maturity gap between mm -hmm. freshman girls and, and RMs. This is generally yeah. speaking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because they're still talking about Zac Efron and, you know. Just got out of high school. Um, right. I feel like now that I've gotten older, I find it a little more socially acceptable. Yeah. Because, like, I'm friends with the RMs, not nearly as creepy as we thought they were. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, okay, I can understand why you'd want to date him. True. It makes more sense. And some girls you meet are a lot more mature than I was freshman mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, this goes without saying. I know about, I knew it's like three girls who got married when they were 19. Mm -hmm. And they're all like, like miles and away more mature, yeah. more mature than I am. I think I got six more years to go. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. got a few more things to go through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But so I don't know if Kent's actually there because the screen is dark. But <laughs> yeah, um, Kent. I'm just gonna ask you another question. Yeah, I was just okay. asking another question. Oh, also, is it weird for? Um, an RM today, is it weirder for them to date a freshman if they live in the dorms? As opposed to like if they lived outside of the okay, dorms. Okay, why are you in the dorms if you're like an RM? That just, like unless you're yeah. an RA. Like, and even that's weird. Guys. Like an RA dating someone in their ward. Yeah. So wait, are you asking if the girl is in the dorms? I meant if yeah. the girl is in the dorms is a weirder. But like also, <coughs> oh, I've heard a lot I of return missionaries. Meant, like, okay, yeah. I still heard a lot of return missionaries. Because that's super weird. Almost in every yeah. every case. Like. It's like you just threw yourself into that dating pool. Like yeah. you did that on purpose. <laughs> 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 we all see you going. See right through you. You're not being clever. I accidentally signed up for Helaman. It was an accident. I was aiming for the rim. Just across the street. I don't know what happened and I couldn't reverse it. I'm now on the page. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work like that. It's creepy. Yeah. True. True. Okay. Um, um, oh, how do you guys feel about a guy pulling out the chair, opening the doors on dates? Is it a requirement? Yeah. Like, it's should he do it all the time? 
and I like it, but it can be overdone. Mm. Most definitely. How so? <laughs> okay, so from point no, blank, get to no, but I went yeah. on a date one time with a guy, and he wouldn't let me out of the car. <laughs> like, <laughs> he'd have to run around and open. The, I was like, okay, I have a hand. I'm capable. <laughs> I am. I am it's not. sweet, like if we're there together and you do it. But like, as far as like, like the whole like laying your jacket down in the puddle so they can walk, it's like I can walk around the puddle. Like it's not hard. <laughs> it's not difficult. It wasn't even that big. It was like this that, big. That's yeah. my best yeah. move, though. So I don't. Know. <laughs> oh, feels lots of good jackets that way. Let's hear the chivalry. <laughs> chivalry is alive and well. <laughs> well, have you guys seen that like I don't know picture where it's like the guy opening the door and it's like really nice and he's really like the girl's really close and like oh, she yeah. gets a little further and it's like a little awkward and it's like really really far he's still holding the door open and like why are you, you doing, doing this <laughs> 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 like do I run up to the door now? I've had instances in the library where someone's opening the door and I'm like down by the wilk and I have to like jog I'm like are you are you serious like yeah. I'll go for it <laughs> true oh gosh but do we need to take a commercial break <laughs> I'm not to this. Um, okay, right. just kidding. Well, um, okay, next question. Um, has your parent like here's a like a serious okay. question. Has a, has your parents' marriage influenced how you date? Oh, oh most definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm one of those really lucky kids who uh, whose parents <laughs> have a pretty spectacular marriage. Mm -hmm. So um, I've actually never ever seen my parents fight, and that's not in the sense that like I don't. I don't think they do really. Mm -hmm. They've just reached a certain point in their marriage, like maybe they did early on, where they just respect each other more than they're like more than they like. Have you heard the thing like I value you more than I value my ego? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that's my parents are like the living testimony of that. And like whenever I'm in the car, my dad will always tell things like, you know, your mom's really awesome, right? Like Aww. she's just she's, just, she's oh, so good. My heart Sweetest thing. Yeah, and she oh gosh, and I just remember instances where my dad brings my mom home flowers, and like they go on date nights every week. Like they, they make a time for like it every and, like, Friday night. Yeah, it's like it's Friday, Saturday, something like that. They go on a date. They go out to lunch with each other. My mom helps my dad out at work because he has his own business, so she's mm -hmm. there with him all the time. It's just like they're in it together instead of like mom and dad. Like pff, it's parents. Mm -hmm. that that. That's They're actual units. Yeah. They're like it's the actual uh -huh. we, not me. Uh huh. And I've been super spoiled. And my mom always told me like over the phone because like my dad like adores my mom. And so like whenever my mom talks to me, she's like, I don't care if he's good looking. I don't care. What he's she's like, you find someone who adores you, and then yeah, you'll be good. <laughs> yeah, that's what my mom tells me too. She says, find someone who worships you. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about women. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, you <laughs> that know, might that be taking a well step too far for me. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> they have a shrine of you yeah. back behind their... In their closet. <laughs> that, would actually, <laughs> that would be one of those creepy RM moments. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, a little bit. No, definitely. Um, I, I, I've just been so spoiled now. I can't... Oh. See, my mom tells me to marry for money, not love, so... Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> She's a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. I, I'm the same way, actually. Um, and I, I think we're both really lucky in that sense, because a lot of people don't have like that mm -hmm. awesome, awesome example mm -hmm. of like most of my friends, their parents are either divorced or separated. <laughs> um, and it's, it's tough, so I, I'm glad. Um, my parents are really good compliments for each other. Mm -hmm. um, like one has the, has the firm hand, that's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> <Mine too. laughs> and one's the big softy, it's my dad. Uh, yeah. So if you what? want something, you go to your dad. Hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 <Fair. laughs> but uh, yeah, that example, uh, and I have seen my parents fight before, and I, I actually like that. I like to see how yeah. they work out issues. No, and no, like, that's true. I have too. Yeah. I've seen them get in like, um, <clears throat> like just not, it's not even an argument I can't describe it I just I've never really seen my parents fight yeah like, ever yeah. and I don't think it's because they like do it behind like closed doors because our house is small <laughs> <laughs> but fair enough I, yeah. I honestly just don't think I think they've reached a point where they just respect each other too much to let little things get in the way like yeah. obviously like, like we'll be driving and be like oh we should pull over here like da 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 like that done like <laughs> oh. that's it the most I ever see <laughs> can't wow. you guys yell at okay. each other like yeah. 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 they're super eager to give in first Aww. like it's not like a matter of like yeah. it's like oh okay I'm sorry moving on I want to apologize first no you apologize first no you apologize it's like, I was apologizing first and it's the first fight overall <laughs> yeah. and does that kind of like set a precedent for you then like for your relationship I don't like for myself my parents they there's like how they resolve conflict there's some banter and some teasing that goes on and like that's how I do it now because yeah. of them you know like my mom harasses my dad for like yeah. leaving the blinker on or like doing this and that and um, <laughs> that, 
you know, it's, it's cute, happen. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. And I definitely don't expect, like, I'm not going to fight in my marriage ever. <laughs> Never. I'm always going to get it. No, 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 no. And I honestly think maybe my parents did fight, but maybe I wasn't born yet. Maybe I was too young to see it, and they just worked things out. Maybe we're at school. Point. Yeah, maybe I was at school. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> She's gone. We can duke it out now. <laughs> they have a lot of physics. Oh, we have a question from the chat room. Um, someone's asking, do you think your parents' relationship can affect yours? <coughs> Wait. Um, do we like, sit, talk about that? Well, I guess, no, 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 I guess in like, the sense of um, maybe they're talking about like the whole idea that if your parents got like divorced, does that make you not trusting of other people? Yeah, like, um, mm -hmm. like, hmm. um, and does my parents' relationship affect mine? Most definitely. I definitely set my sights a little higher. Not like in the because sense of like of attractiveness and funniness, but definitely in the sense of like we get along <laughs> and we work and we actually <laughs> love each other. Yeah. 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 yeah, true. I'm trying to figure out, like, what else can I say about that? Cause that's a good question. Well, and, like, uh, my parents have given me advice on relationships based off their own experiences with each other, and that's kind of helped formulate my own ideas on yeah. how mm -hmm. I want a relationship and how I should, like, pursue a spouse and, and things like that. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. well, I was thinking, like, maybe your parents' relationship influenced the people who you date and who you find attractive and, mm -hmm. and what know, turns you, like, what she, scares you. What is that called? <laughs> Where it's like it's like something is some sort of statistic where women really are attracted to men that are like their fathers, mm -hmm. not like oh, a yeah. creepy way. The Oedipal like a weird complex. Way. That's what is you're talking about. Oedipus? <laughs> <laughs> or Oedipal? The, yeah, Oedipus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oedipal complex. Right. And that's where you're talking to your mother. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think that's a little weird. <laughs> I, no, 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 not like that. Some complex. Or, right, I got you. Not like and that. The reverse is electric complex. Just letting everyone know what that is. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I have these little little internet little nuggets tip, in my mind. You know? So when I'm looking up, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that's what I do Friday nights. Thanks. Yeah. Um, oh, anyway. But yeah. You know, um, my dad is uh, really funny, and he's <laughs> quick. And at the beginning, I told you. I like someone who's clever and quick. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Someone who's minus so clever. So I guess A B equals that. That. He does equal that it because does. yeah, I'm the same yeah. way with my mom. Like I, I actually, it's weird. Like I fought that for a long time, but then I eventually came to the realization like these girls that I'm attracted to. I'm like, oh my gosh, I like my mom. It's weird. <laughs> and <laughs> like, it's not <laughs> creepy. Like it's, it's not, not like, like that at all. Yeah, it's no. really just like it's true. It's, a, it's, it's, just like qualities, it's like what yeah. you're used to. We grew up to. with it. We're yeah. used to it. We admire it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, done. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. True. Well. Well, I feel so enlightened. I know. We're <laughs> And giggly. <laughs> I'm sorry if you like hurt your eardrums giggling or something like that. <laughs> it's um, been a fun I show. I, I think we had a, yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, thanks for watching, everybody. Is this single and loving it or not? Mm -hmm. With your love detectives, Giles and Monet. Yep. On the single marriage program with Elise and Phil. Thanks. Thank you so much. We had a lot of fun. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah. And um, tune in next week from 10 to 11.